get a fish for a military school. I'm the battalion commander. Every single minute of your free time will be devoted to me. I'm going to go over your list of acceptances and who you're waiting on. West Point prep and the Navy prep, uh, Princeton. It's a nice list of schools. Yeah. There are quite a few people here who do want to go straight into the military. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. No, it's just I don't want to see them on one of those plaques for cadets who have passed away. All right, looks like we should probably uh, head over there. I got a fish for a military school. I'm the battalion commander. I'm the number one guy in charge of 180 cadets. I'm the first up, last to go to sleep. It's a 24 seven uh, job. Go, turn left on, get up, get up. Good morning, Let's go, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. I don't want to sound like I'm a control freak, but I really do control pretty much everything that goes on. Order! I came to Fishburn for a few reasons. One would be academics. There's four phases to learning class. What are the four phases? Inquire. My grades started slipping. My mom and I started arguing. One day jokingly, I was just like, why don't you just send me to boarding school? And she did. I just felt that being in an environment that would have the military influence would raise Harold to become a self-disciplined young man. My mom does not regret ever sending me to Fishburn because of the fact that she knows what the end result is. I've grown up, I've matured, I've become the person who I am now. And it's prepared me for college. I applied to the Naval Academy, West Point, Princeton. My top choice is Princeton. I'm just waiting to hear back from them. Oh, 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 oh. Being at a military school, it's very different than being at a regular public school. But with all the things that we do and how close we are, we are brothers here. Oh, From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, we wear uniforms every day. We do everything together. <laughs> we eat together. The mess over here, it holds all of us at one time. When you're a rat or a new cadet, you eat last, you have to stand up with your rules up, just reading them. The thing I miss most about public and regular school is probably girls, but I guess the advantages of not having girls, you can focus on what you need to do better. I'm not saying that girls shouldn't be in the military or anything, but with all the things that we do and how close we are as brothers, I don't know how girls would come into that. It would have been nice to, you know, experience a little bit more high school, but Fishburne definitely teaches you to be physically strong, be mentally strong, and overall have lots of discipline. No! Oh! What are we at? We're about to be back at zero if we don't sound off. What are we at? My time here is almost done, but you know, I'm pretty burnt out. There's not a time in any day of, you know, any week that you are not the battalion commander. Every single minute of your free time will be devoted to me. And that does get old, it gets annoying. If I said that I'm perfectly fine and that it hasn't affected me in any way, then I, I would be lying. Dismiss! I want to enlist right, right when I graduate. That's all I've ever wanted to do. I don't want to see him on one of those plaques for former cadets who have passed away. Denial, look. Oh. Hey. Little packages here. Yeah. Packages flying back. John Ross. Yeah, I got it. Damn it. <laughs> right in I have a package. That'd be good. Well done. Oh. Go? Raiders is a uh, team of eight guys, <laughs> and you, know, you wake up early in the morning, you do a series of physical events, mental events.
Ted, ready, Ted, go. Make sure you tell them that's zero. There's push-ups, sit-ups, uh, a mile run, the litter carry, tire flips, one row bridge, which is where two trees and an obstacle in the middle, and you have to get from one side to the other. He's his whole feet. This is a military competition because it prepares you for military type of tactics. This type of physical and mental toughness is some of the stuff that you're going to be learning when you go into the actual military. Everyone likes world peace and everything, but war is necessary. Three, two, one, begin. There's always been wars, there always will be wars, and that's just a part of a, a human characteristic. To truly only be free uh, is through war. So this is it for the day? We're done. <laughs> We're done. I wanted to ask you about the uh, the colleges. I wanted to go over your list of acceptances and who you're waiting on. All right, well, service academies, West Point Prep, and then Navy Prep. Uh, Princeton is the uh, the last big one, and Princeton's definitely uh, one of my top choices. Nice list of schools. Yeah. For a long time, I thought the Naval Academy or West Point was the only place for me. But then an academy is pretty much just a fish burn, except, you know, really more in, intense. Whether or not I want to do that for another four or five years, we can go ahead and do another five years minimum of service. I have, you know, my own doubts. I really want to own my own company one day. That's definitely something I plan on doing in the future. You know, the people from here definitely expect me to go to the Naval Academy. Just because I'm the battalion commander. But the thing with Princeton, um, you know, after being here for so long, being able to live the normal life. It would be nice. All right. Pleasure. Nice seeing you again. Yeah, absolutely. Take it easy. Absolutely. You say you guys do enlist. When would you guys, like, start all your stuff? I want to enlist right, right when I graduate. Yeah, but it's going to be crazy, man. When you guys are all, like, you figure, like, August, you guys are going to be starting Good school, job. right? Let's yeah, but in college, up. you got uh, four hey. years of school and then 10 years of debt. Yeah, yeah so that's how it goes. Why you, why you, there are quite a few people here at Fishburne who do want to go straight into the military enlisting. For those individuals who want to go enlist, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Uh, I'm not looking down on it or anything. Uh, you know, it's just, it's a different type of person. It's, they may be more inclined to want to actually go into the battlefields and go into warfare. If anything happens and Ukraine goes to war, yeah, war but don't we try not to be like the universal police? So you know, yeah. see, see police Obama, the, the thing is, if we do that, we lose our edge, because then now yeah. Obama looks, he's playing big I mean, yeah, he already is. is. If something it. happens with, with Russia, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure all of us are a little bit, you know, maybe not excited, but ready. Because that's what we want to do. I don't get upset when uh, Class 2014, when it comes up and we already have like a couple of dead people. Yeah, four people dead. Yeah, like, I'm going gonna, gonna to be coming back to say like a speech or something like four years. Yeah, but you got to take and into then, consideration that it's what we wanted to do though. You know, yeah, it's for, for our whole that, lives. For, yeah, as as it's I'm literally, concerned. since I was, a child, since I was right? a little kid, that's all I've ever wanted to do. I'm definitely, I, you know, I'm concerned for him. I'm not their parents, I'm not their dad or anything, but you know, I am their brother. I, I have been through a lot with them. And, you know, I don't want to see them on one of those plaques that we have over in the foyer for former Fishburne cadets who have passed away. clean? You got this room clean? They're supposed to be cleaning their rooms because tomorrow we're going on spring break. Before they go home, they, their rooms need to be spotless. Sylvan, you just told me your room looks like a freaking pig style. Why aren't you in there cleaning? Martinez, why am I hearing your voice? Because I have a loud voice, sir. We got like another 10 minutes on special here. Sucks to be me sometimes because I have to tell some of my closest friends what to do. You even had a warning. Rush it to be good? Yes, all the way down, all the way up. Down off. I am a big believer, and if you have a job, you do it. 
I'm really ready for spring break. I'm really looking forward to not having to scream at someone at 11.30 at night to get back in their room. I plan on going with my four other company commanders down to Florida. We're gonna have an awesome time. A lot of these guys that are going with me you know, are going into the military and stuff. So, you know, we're not gonna be in as much contact because they are going overseas. And whenever I can get a chance to you know, be the normal and a coup, I like to take it. Snowing back in Fishburne right now. It's 88 degrees here. Great start. Spring break. I especially like being with my Fishburne guys inside of Fishburne where I'm not the boss of them, where I don't have to make them do push ups and stuff if they mess up. Well, we should do like uh, national geography, like get down and then camp launch. Those girls are topless. What? No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go in the water. Let's go, let's go bodyboard. Let's go, let's go bodyboard. You know, I'm an Olympic swimmer. Michael Phelps. Phelps. Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. The main focus of this vacation was to share, you know, like a last type of memory before we all go our separate ways. We have a few going enlisting in the military and you never know they can go off and never come back. I am the brother. I have been through a lot with them. We definitely wanted to just have a last like uh, hurrah. Sign in to my account, print in, and I'm gonna check if I got in or not. So, uh, we should pray before I do this. Alright, bet. Let's go. Well, looks like I didn't get in. was a shock to me. I was so for sure that I was going to get in. Um, you know, I played the cards right and everything. I was just pretty confident. I had been planning this for quite some time, and then I was like, whoa, hang on a second. That plan's pretty much out the gutter. You know, it is out the gutter. God really laid it on my heart to like be a missionary full time. I called UC to see if I could defer my education. Cadets for 2013-2014 are hereby dismissed! So right here we have the acceptance board. There's mine right there. Since I didn't get into Princeton, my next best choice, I think, is the Naval Academy. You know, I got the four-year scholarship to Wake Forest, as well as Virginia Tech. And however, I don't think that any of those schools are on the same level as an academy. I have indeed made peace at the fact that for the, the next half decade of my life, being involved with the military, I'm looking forward to it now. You know, you got to have the mindset of positivity when you're going into it. People from here definitely expect me to have a leadership position at the Naval Academy. However, I've tasted being a battalion commander and I'm not exactly sure if I want this type of stress this whole the whole time in college. But I definitely feel that at the Naval Academy I'm gonna I'm gonna do well and I'm gonna succeed. As I'm packing everything up and 
looking around for the last time of what was my room and being BC and what I have accomplished over these last five years, it is pretty crazy. It's surreal. The last formation in general is always emotional, no matter who you are out there, you're still gonna get hit by it in some type of way. It gets to you. I mean, I just try to kind of stay strong. I'm not the biggest crying type of guy, you know, over Fishburne's time being there, I've really created like a, a big wall, not letting my emotions out. And that's just kind of something that I've had to do being the BC. So even at a time like graduation, I may not be showing it on the outside, but I'm sure feeling it on the inside. May 17, 2014, Waynesboro, Virginia. Having completed all military training and academic requirements, Fishburne Military School Corps cadets for 2013-2014 school year are hereby dismissed! <laughs> It's going to be hard to, to not see all those special people who have helped me through my journey. It's the people that make it so special. And it really is a family. And it's a family that I'm going to miss so much. It's not going to be the same anywhere else.